wanted to use really sure. I think for me as a filmmaker, um, storytelling is sort of, I mean, I, I think storytelling is at the heart of culture and that the stories that we tell create the culture that we live in. And um, so I, um, you know, I did a lot of thinking about this idea of, of culture being upstream of politics. And I was trying to think why. I, I think I felt that intuitively and in trying to figure out, well, why exactly? And I think it's because um, that, that stories are the things that define and shape um, our sort of plausibility structures um, through those underlying assumptions of, of our society. And that the story, um, a story is able to subvert those plausibility structures and underlying assumptions, or it can gird it up. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think just in terms of film, um, you know, I love the idea that it's a story that can can subvert um, and create, can subvert those underlying assumptions and build something new and give people uh, an expanded imagination of what's actually possible. Uh, um, I think in, in the realm of films, I mean, I, I hope this is answering your question. The first thing I thought of was just, you know, the, the narrative within a movie that seems to be the thing that makes it powerful and interesting, captivating, is the, the truth of the, the darkness or the brokenness of whatever situation there is being presented in the narrative being eventually um, overcome by uh, light and by um, healing. And I see that, I feel like that's a part of every film that I try to make is where, where are the things that are dark and broken, how are they gonna be made whole? How are they gonna be put back together? How, how will um, light overcome the darkness? And um, that's something that appeals to, I think, every um, viewer of any film um, across the world. And, um, and I think in that, um, it has to be an authentic portrayal of darkness. Um, and I think that's where, I think with, um, just to be frank, with Christian movies, um, they fall so short. There's not an actual authentic representation of real people truly, really struggling and seeing be, people being filmmakers being bold enough to show the the depth of the brokenness and the um, being too afraid, to, needing to whitewash everything. So really, the payoff of the light overcoming never really comes. Um, so those are just some of my thoughts about. That. But in films today, and I think it goes back to what you're saying, the branding and the marketability, we have to clearly define the lines, and it makes it murky and difficult but um so yeah i think christian content today is it's like at the end of the movie or the end of whatever it is it has to have that presentation of right. jesus right. um rather than being content to just stop short to uh, to leave questions unanswered to leave allow the audience to um make their own conclusions to trust the audience i think a lot of christian content doesn't trust the audience yeah. which drives me crazy yeah. um it, it doesn't it 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 doesn't even know what it, it knows a question it's answering, but doesn't even ask the question, but it answers it, right? I mean, it's always about the answer, the answer, the answer. And what time you're looking at and um, what's sort of uh, the, uh, the, the mood and tenor of the church is at that time. So let's just very quickly, it would be like if, you, if a, an artist begins to create uh, in a in a time period, say it's 2015 or it's 1973. Okay, uh, depending on what the climate of the church is, th there may be like an extreme uh, emphasis on uh, the explicit. All right, and there may be a time where the church is very very ignorant of the arts, and so they don't have the arts language. They're not they're not um, able to understand that the arts are filled with implicit and explicit expression. So for them, um, authentic Christian art is only that which is explicit, okay? Then in another time, you might have a whole shift that people are trying to make a correction, right? And so they shift all the way over to the other side, and, and it's all implicit, right? And most Christians can't pick up the signals. They're like, I have no idea. Is this supposed to be Christian, right? I have no idea what's going on. Mom's here. night out, right. bombed in the box office. And so, um, yet, there may be threaded through a work of art all sorts of uh, Christian signposts, right? Um, so th this is the kind of world that I've moved and shaked in for 
35 years where there's this tension that uh, you, you're kind of keeping your ears open uh, to and, you, and your eyes open to. Thank you.